Krista Gunther, and I'm the owner of Feast Cafe Bistro, serving modern dishes rooted in traditional First Nation food. I am Janine White. I am the head server at Feast Cafe Bistro. Recently, we went and visited the bison at Lone Spruce Bison Farm, which are the bison that are supplied to Feast Cafe Bistro. We went to the bison farm to uh, lay down tobacco offering for the bison to say thank you for their sacrifice so we can feed the community here. It just really brought me back to how our people lived and survived off of these animals so many hundreds of years ago and just to see them face to face and remember you know, what the people, what our ancestors, uh, how important they were to our people um, was really moving for me. I could see why you would use every part of that animal for survival. My favorite part was um, feeding the uh, baby bison. Um, actually, although the one baby bison stepped on my toe, so my toe is still healing from it, actually. <laughs> Quite heavy little baby. We had brought an offering for the bison, and I really wanted to give that offering and thank the bison for giving up their lives to nourish the customers at Feast Cafe Bistro. We were closing our eyes for quite a few minutes, and when we opened our eyes, all of the bison were completely still, and they were, all their heads were turned. It was kind of funny because afterwards, the farmer said, what did you just do there? And I explained to him what we did, and he said he'd never seen the bison behave like that before. So that I knew, then I really knew that those bison connected with us just as much as we connected with them. They had a lot of, lot of free room to roam, um, not very restricted at all which was beautiful to see. Where these bison were, there was just fields and more fields and more fields, and it was so nice to see them in their natural habitat like that and just to be able to exist and they're not being corralled in a barn and it just being in their natural state was uh, really, it was great to see that. If you take the buffalo at Sioux Valley, their bison, nobody's touched that bison herd for, how long is that chain? Is that like, what, 15 years now? Them bison have roamed free for 15 years in that, in that valley. Their diet is just strictly a lot of, uh, just basically hay, no byproducts or anything like that. Um, all natural, um, from right from the ground, right from Mother Earth. I think it's important to connect to your food source or our food source or even as a business owner feeding hundreds of customers because I think it comes down to respecting the animal. I don't have any beef on my menu and that's a bit of a risk when a lot of people like beef but I really wanted to highlight the bison. I really wanted to stand for our indigenous food and in particular the bison because of how important it was to our people and for hundreds of years how important it was for everybody. So I serve a lot of bison throughout the menu. I would like to let the community know to come to the Feast Cafe Bistro to try our all natural bison products, the bison burger, bison chili, and the um, bison ribs.